Now, now, John, a lot of people don't know you were on that first season, or first two seasons of Richard Pryor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Richard Pryor show. Yeah, Richard Pryor. We we only lasted you know, four seasons. It yeah. was only four weeks. We well, they only had the two uh, episodes. The two episodes they we, sell. We have, well, no, we had actually did four shows. Mm-hmm. But Richard, I knew this show was gonna, it wasn't going to last. Why, Why not? not? Richard was fucked up at 8 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Richard come out there, what? 8 what o'clock in the morning. We ready, we ready to shoot. Richard come out there, white powder on his nose, and oh. he had a, uh, some vodka in his uh, <laughs> So he had so Rich was on the Coca Loca. <laughs> and then he had John Moffat was the director. He's okay and action. Rich said, his whole mouth was frozen. Wow. Is that right? Yeah. He's okay. Let me cut, cut, cut. Let's go back in the dressing room. Take Richard back and get him straight, yo. So he gets wow. an entourage, take him back in the room, they give him some more coke. What is it? You know, this is uh wow. That's wow. straight him out. This and is interesting in morning, that Richard now. has has passed away and you come with this. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew this ahead of time. But but let me ask you. Why this. not this dig his coffin up and leave it on the four or five why don't, <laughs> why not let him drop the baton? <laughs> well wow. and Richard used to have I parties. thought he was gonna say something nice about Richard. Yeah, like, oh, hey, well, Rich come and get coked up and heroin and <laughs> fuck the whole season up for us. Syphilis. Nigga had syringes hanging out his arm doing uh-huh. live shooting. Jesus. We so, thought we so thought we were gonna be party. big stars and shit. Richard So Richard probably fu- fucked it up. Fucked it all up. You got forty people working with you. Robin Williams. Yes. Robin Williams was an yeah. extra. We all extras and stuff. Right. Yeah. Richard would be Mr. Miyagi. I feel like your pain. Yeah, Tracy Morgan did that too. Well, Tracy Morgan ain't no Richard yeah, Pryor. Yeah, we had a show. Tracy Morgan had a show. He ain't even he, rain Pryor. He kept yeah, coming wrong. <laughs> yeah, he, he don't even have Pryor conviction. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you say he ain't, ain't even, even rain Pryor? Pryor. <laughs> That's funny. Chris Fisher, Bud Light, like Joker Bay. Two for Bud uh, Light, like drinkability, where availability meets the perfect drink. That's right. So you said Tracy Morgan was doing cocaine. Yeah, he had, well, no, he was drinking a lot. He was just doing the show, the Tracy <laughs> Morgan show. And the little boy, remember the little boy, yeah, Bobby J? Yeah, the little ugly boy. Yeah, he got mad at him and threw him across stage. You know, he was, oh, he was just really mean. Oh, he threw the little ugly boy yeah, across stage? Yeah, that was a good gig, too, because that was warm-up heaven for me, man. Yeah, but that like, show, I, did, I, was, I was on that show. I did 18 shows with him. I did that show? Yeah, you were the I was on the outside the, looking at him. I'm warm just up. amazed at how... Um, Cocaine is it? No, it's <laughs> how... how Free you guys give up this information. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ain't finished, goddammit. Okay. Oh, keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Tell it like it is. Welcome to John with the I remember I had scorn. I had some, uh, I remember I had some, uh, <laughs> what you know about Eddie? What you know about Eddie? Eddie, Eddie who? Eddie Murphy. Murphy. He's, a, he's a little younger than I am. Yeah. yeah. No, tell us about Robin Williams still in jump. Robin Williams was a thief. <laughs> now, did this. God damn. Oh, shit. We Robin that. Williams, let me tell you something. Robin Williams so he was comes G-30. to the comedy store, and when he had that show, Mark and Mindy, right. yeah. he would go on that show and ad lib all the time. Everybody else's best material. Mm-hmm. Wow. So when he came to the comedy store Monday, they wouldn't whip his ass. Mm-hmm. That's why he would have security around there. So whose shit was Nano Nano? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was his shit. That was David Letterman's. <laughs> yeah, so. You, yeah, you have a relationship with David Letterman. Yeah, David, he's an old friend of mine, yeah. Hey, I've been knowing Dave for years, for 30 some years. And I must say, one of the, the, the best ones they did on the what? Richard Pryor show, shut up, was the, the, was the gun does. bit. The gun bit. That was, that was, that was one that, And it's still, that stuff that could go today, that stuff yeah, that, that we did on that, that show. That was off the chain. The that gun was bit was off the chain. But uh, that show wasn't going to lad. But was Paul, Mooney, fucked it up was for Paul Mooney on that show? Yeah. Yeah, Mooney used to be the one that oh, cast yes. the show. Oh, oh, He's yes. the one that got everybody on the oh, show. Oh, it's really serious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you white people. And the roast. when He's telling the truth about Richard. When Richard did the roast, when y'all roasted, that shit was off the chain. That was some funny stuff. Oh, my God. But you know, the stuff that they actually got on the floor that didn't work was the funniest shit. They couldn't put on the because Richard was, he should have had HBO then. The, Richard Pryor did the first, uh, Richard Pryor, the black president, remember that? That was funny that stuff. That was the first one to yeah. do it. Yeah. But yeah. the funny yeah. stuff, when Richard Pryor was the, the, the waiter in the, in the Sky Wars bar, mm-hmm. and he talked about every, all the monsters walking around there, and then they wouldn't put that shit on the air because it was Tuesday night on NBC. He should have never been on Tuesday night on NBC. So Paul Mooney uh, hired you guys? He went out he and was got the, you guys? He was the one, at the, he was Richard's friend, and he was the one that came to the comedy store and said, Richard's going to do this special, I'm going to get everybody a job. So Man, I you imagine everybody. talking to Paul Mooney, Mooney asking him for a job. Mooney, yeah. Mooney did. He was oh, the one oh, that yes. would get everybody a job. Well, what, Paul? Excuse me, Paul. Oh, oh yes, nigga. Richards is doing this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna yeah. be, it's gonna be fabulous. How much? How much we getting paid, Paul? Uh, don't, don't worry about that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> just show up, nigga. You'll just yes. get what you get. That's, what, that's how much they're paying, nigga. Oh yes, this nigga's an uppity nigga right here. Are you the head writer, Paul? Victor, don't worry about that, nigga. You just have it, your business. Be there or be square. Whatever. We got to deal with a lot of white folks there, Paul. Uh, honky heaven. Uh, 
honky and heaven, honky everywhere. Just lily white honky. I love it. I love it. And I'm the only nigga there. They love me. They look at me and they just say, this nigga, oh, he's very smart. <laughs> oh, this nigga's great. <laughs> Not your average runaway. <laughs> That's Mooney. That is Mooney. Look at that. Oh, oh, that is Mooney. Oh, now, How much money are we making? Oh, brother, don't worry about that. Brother. brother, don't worry. Brother. <laughs> it's an opportunity, brother. It's an opportunity. You're going to be on, you gonna be on NBC. Nigga, be careful. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's true. And it's really true, nigga. Be so careful you guys did, because did four they shows? will get you, nigga. We only got four cash. shows that kicked us off the air. And, and mm. did it give you a reason or they just said bounce? Well, anytime you got bean pies coming in the morning and Hysterical. you got... You got <laughs> The Muslim, the Muslim, the Muslim Muslim. selling papers hate hate whitey. Uh, (laughs) Hey, what what is this on Richard Richard Pryor's show? uh, You wouldn't believe this. You wouldn't believe the chaos they had on the show. I remember one time we were all in baby outfits. We before do the scene in the crib. Uh, Oh yeah, I remember that. And Richard always wanted to have meetings. He said, "Everybody come on. When somebody starts some shit, I want y'all to meet me in my room." He'd be in there hitting that cocaine. That's y'all. Somebody be talking behind my back. Y'all this be talking is, behind my back. I said, Richard. I you. never knew that he did coke like that. What? what? Well, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> You've been hanging out with Louis. No, he was, open, he was pretty open with it in his routine. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He was telling so, me. Yeah. And you know who else, you know who else did a lot of cocaine? Johnny Carson. Whoa. Oh. 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 God. Exclusive. Oh. What about Ed McMahon? Oh. Oh. Did you know? <laughs> 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 Earlier today, <laughs> it was so hot. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> so hot that my crack pipe <laughs> <laughs> melted right in my head. Are you wow, serious? wait a minute, wait Johnny, a minute. Johnny Carson had an operation. He had a hole in his nose under here. Oh These my people God. are not here to cold. defend themselves, Johnny. Oh, well, 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 are you serious? The spirits are talking to me right now. So Doc, Doc Severson and, 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 and Johnny Carson and Ebby, man, I was off the chain over there then, huh? No, they, they had all that money and shit. Johnny Carson, but they, they didn't white boy. They didn't tell you who who tooting the cocaine in the white world. Oh. They won't find out how and Red, and Red Fox was the biggest coke. He would have a bowl of cocaine, and he would be doing like this. Oh, with the whole bowl. Wow. Right bowl of knows. cocaine. Wait, time out. Would Sam they just, would they just <laughs> snort right in front of anybody? They would be snorting. Well, they, well you got the, the script person right here and Red be hitting his coke and, and Sammy Davis and them be smoking smoking weed while he shoot when they, when he was on uh, Fox and Show one time as guests. They'd be out there hitting that coke. John, I, wow. come on, man. <laughs> come, come on. They were, right, let me tell you something, man. Book, mama. Did, did you book, indulge? I got a book. I'm, did you I'm, indulge? John, did you too? Did you indulge? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, Sydney you was holding the bowl. You was holding the bowl. Hey, John. Oh, Sydney, Sydney party, John. Well, let him finish. No, no, no. Sydney's too old. I don't know. So, no, Finn Witherspoon's <laughs> new CD, The Coke Chronicle. <laughs> <laughs> the Ten Coke Commandments. <laughs> One. <laughs> now, let me. Well, so, yeah, you I, indulged, so, you indulged. But you know what I would do? I would get myself a 25 cent pack. Oh, you would trick people? Yeah. You know, I'd take the two girls and they look like I got it. Look like I got it. You really the diaper dandy. I got the runs. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. They're thinking they're getting high. And, and like, they be getting high. They get high. But be, I said, my shit's so good. They knock the shit at you. <laughs> <laughs> my shit is the shit. <laughs> so the shit you tell, you. Let me get this straight right here on Fox Hole Series. Yeah, it's exclusive. It's exclusive. Johnny Carson. Johnny, Johnny Carson. Ed McMahon. I don't know about Ed McMahon. Okay. Doc mm-hmm. Severson. <laughs> I'm sure Doc probably he, he yeah, looked yeah. like a uh, he like he would smoke weed though. That yeah. type, he's that type okay. of Johnny Carson. Bohemian. These are all uh, yeah. heroes, legends. heroes of ours. These are legends. Yeah, Red well, Fox, well, Red Fox. Oh, we all know everybody knew Red Robin Fox. Wo- Robin Williams well, too, right? Bobby Robin Williams Robin was the was the head of the coke. I <laughs> heard he I heard he was actually with John Belushi the night he died. Yeah, and you know what happened? I had Whoa. I had me a little twenty. I had about it. I had some money. I bought myself a hundred dollar worth of coke. Yeah. So I'm trying to be Mr. Big Shot at the comic store. Everybody used to give me some. So I said, Robbie, you want to hit? hit? He said, yeah, man. He took my coke and turned around and come back. I had my that much left. I said, what the <laughs> fuck you do with my coke? <laughs> <laughs> you owe me $85, man. Yeah, and he, yeah, he done tooted up all my coke. I said, look at uh, Peter Pan. I'm going to whip your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
Hey, That's John, what, what, what this is, is hilarious. Foul. This is Fox on Radio. What's cracking? Other, Other than the crack of your pipe. Other than the crack, crack, crack of your pipe. pipe. <laughs> we are here with John Witherspoon. He is giving us uh, exclusive with our new sponsor, Coke. Yeah. But not the cola. Oh, what a feeling. 63 cents. 63 cents. Uh, John Witherspoon is here outing people uh, about the coke. I just have to say this. The views on this show are not Fox or nor anybody in Fox. John, give us one surprise. Absolutely. John surprise. You have been surprised. And we have nothing to do with it. Who did Name you somebody that we don't know. Yeah. Yeah, give yeah. us a surprise. A like that hit cocaine? Yeah, yeah. a little bit, a little bit. Well, he know. surprised Johnny me with Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson. He Johnny killed Carson. me with that one. That kind of thing. Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson. And tell us about some Hollywood coochie you hit. Oh. Hollywood. Shirley Hippin used to love me, but I would, couldn't get that. Whoa. Oh. What's, John, what's happening? I, 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 ain't <laughs> ne- I ain't never been that high. God. Damn. I ain't never got that high. Who else, oh. who else oh. dead you want to pick on, John? I know, exactly. Oh, what a wonderful feeling. What a feeling to be one. What a feeling. What a feeling to be I made it out the mud. I made it out the mud. 